Right, in this video, we're going to take the CDS view that we created in the first video in this series and set it up so that we can consume the data in a simple UI5 application in SAP Cloud Platform, uh, specifically the Neo edition. Then in Cloud Platform, we're going to run through a simple wizard that will let us build the UI5 application without writing a single line of code. So in our CDS view, we need to do two things. The first one is, we need to add an OData annotation. Then we need to set a key. And in this case, we will use the sales order invoice key, which should be fine. Then we can go ahead and save, check, and let's see if it'll let us activate. No, what error is it giving us? Ah, okay, so we just need to make sure our key starts the first position, which is fine. So we'll pop that up there. Shift F1 to format, save, Control F2 to check, Control F3 to activate, brilliant. Then we need to go into the SAP GUI and we need to go to the SAP Gateway transaction code that you can see on the screen now. So we're gonna open it up in Eclipse and it slash in slash IWFND slash maint underscore service. Ah, oh, I forgot the E on the end. IWFND slash MANT underscore service. And this will take us to our service catalog. Then we'll go ahead and click on add service. And our system alias will be local in this case. And our technical service name needs to follow this naming convention with CDS at the end. And we can go ahead and press get services. And you can see our service is here because it's, it's picked up this CDS view. We can highlight, add selected services. And we'll put this in as a local object. You don't need to do anything else. Wonderful. So that's all fine. We can then go ahead and go to our SAP Gateway client. And we can actually view the data. Um, oh, sorry, I've selected the wrong one. We need to scroll down and select the one in question. And oh, let's actually click on it rather. Then go into the Gateway client. And here, you can see our URL is spaced out for us, and that's an XML format. And there you can see our collection is over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and add it on to the end there. No, it won't let me, so I'm going to have to type it out. Z invoice items 001 and let's pull this back in JSON format. Execute. And here you can see our results, company name, currency code, payment status true. And again, and we've got a whole stack of data here from SAP. So this is our OData source coming out of SAP Gateway ready for UI5. Now we're going to go into our SAP Cloud Platform Neo account and we're going to run through the wizard to create the UI5 application and consume the service or the OData that we have just created in Gateway. Once we're on the home page, we can go to we can either go to file new project from template or just click on project from template. 
We're going to use a list report application in this case. We're going to call this test CDS v2 because I've already created one myself and test CDS v2. We're not going to worry about a namespace or description because we're just doing a demo here. Now, if you have done this correctly and your service is um, running, um, you would use something called SAP Cloud Connector to connect your on-prem or your local dev trial to your SAP Cloud Platform tenant account. We're going to cover that in a separate video, but for now we're going to assume that that's working. And if it is, if you click on in the service catalog, you should see your back-end system here. Once you do that, you get a full list of all the services. And the one we're interested in is all the way down here, Z invoice items. And we're going to take this one underneath. So you then come to the annotation file, which um, we haven't configured properly yet. And again, we'll do a different video on annotations. But for now, we'll just take what we're given and we'll click Next. Then we need to specify the O data collection we want. In this case, it's Z invoice items 01. And we're not going to worry about the navigation for now, even though it's already selected it. Um, these are all different options that you can run with. We're not worried about that for now. We just want to display the data. We can then go ahead and click Finish. And once it's finished loading, we should be presented with our UI5 app. Here you can see it's created an app for us. And um, for the UI5 developers out there, you'll notice that it's a little bit light in terms of um, file and folder structure. There'll be a whole, the whole stack of things missing. Um, we'll go into the detail of what's missing and how to use this more simplified version of a UI5 app in another video. For now, we don't have to worry about anything. We're just simply going to go ahead, right-click Run, and we're going to run as a web application. We're going to pop it into the Fiori Launchpad sandbox so we can see exactly how it works within a Fiori shell, which is always useful if you guys have your Fiori portals running. And we're going to go ahead and click on the tile it's created. You were then presented with your application. Normally, we should be able to just click on Go. And if you have no data found, you just need to go ahead and select your columns. And using the little cog on the right-hand side, we're going to select all of our columns in this case. Again, we haven't written any code. This has all been done for us. And we're just deciding this within the actual physical app output. Um, that we have. And once we click OK, we're presented with all of our data in all the columns we've chosen. So there you go. That is how to consume a simple CDS view um, in a UI5 application hosted in SAP Cloud Platform. Um, this is fantastic if you may not necessarily be um, on the technical side yourself, but perhaps more functional, and you want to just get some data out um, into um, the Fiori landscape that you have, um, it is now incredibly easy to do that um, on top of your SAP ABAP or HANA system. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know in a comment down below. Please remember, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.